supporting the arts was going to be a, such a huge passion in your life? I think it's most likely when I realized that I wasn't going to be an artist. I would always said that my unrealized desire was to have been a creative artist. Mm. And so when they did that little film, I had Shauna Ralston teaching me to play the cello. I had Albert Schultz teaching me to do Shakespeare. And I had Karen Kane teaching me to dance. And the reason it worked mm. is animation. <laughs> because cause it was me for the first few bars, and then it went into animation, and in animation I was fantastic. Mm, yeah. So I realized, as I said, when I, when I realized I myself was not going to be an artist, and when I was fortunate enough to have some means that, well, at least I could support the arts. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And what's it given to you? I know you give it to many people, but what does it give back to you? A feeling of satisfaction, of course, a feeling of pride a feeling that I've made a difference. I mean, all of those things are important to me and also ties in with our Order of Canada that's made Canada a better country. Do you remember the moment when the Governor General put the, the medal around your neck? What, what did you feel then? That pride that I mentioned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it mm -hmm. felt, felt very good. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, since you could edit out, could I tell you the, yes. the joke that we told that got a good re reaction? Yeah. I said on the way over here, I said, my wife is the one that keeps me humble. And I said, on the way over here, I said to my wife, I said, never in your wildest dreams would you have thought I'd get this award. And she replied, you're not in my wildest dreams. <laughs> <laughs> so how does engagement and support of the arts enrich us as Canadians to help uh, our Canadian culture? Well, what's so important to a country's competitiveness and to the quality of life is innovation, creativity, and of course, the arts are, <laughs> that is the arts, it's one definition of the arts. And the other one is the way in which artists look at life with a different lens often than we do. So it broadens our point of view, it broadens our horizon, makes life much more interesting. Mm. Yeah. Do you, uh, we've been talking about how Canada is an arts nation, do you feel that's true? One of the reasons we're known as an arts nation is so many artists go abroad, because sometimes they feel they have to go abroad to become legitimized. <laughs> when they come back, mm -hmm. we think they're important because somebody else thought they were important. I think we should just learn to appreciate them on our own. Might mm -hmm. keep more of them here. Mm -hmm. it's a, we have a little uh, underdog psychological tw tweak Correct. that we have to move up. I met the uh, Prime Minister of Australia, and we think of them as a sports nation. But he said what most people don't know is that we provide more support to the arts than we do to sports. Hmm. And because we recognize its importance to, to, the, the, to our country. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I feel in Canada that's even more the case. And as you know, research has shown that more is spent on the arts than is spent on sports. More people are involved or go to the arts than go to sports. So uh, even though we're thought of sometimes as a hockey nation, I think we really are an arts nation. Mm -hmm. Maybe and hockey. <laughs> <laughs>